Got the finished product here. Still need to work out a door situation. I might have a plastic thing go across just across the bottom or I might make it run the whole length of the top. But it, it's not blowing away this year in the wind at all. The door is a little questionable, but nice and tight all the way down. Like I said, I, I rolled the bottom of it with a four by fours pretty much all the way down, like eight feet space, eight feet space, so forth. And then uh, filled in the side with some chips, packed it in there nice and tight up against the, the bars here. Yeah, remember how much it moved? I can't even budge this thing. Can't even budge it at all. And how much it moved from the previous video. But that's in there tight, and it's a good, I don't know when the sun's shining on it, 40 degrees warmer. The sun is not shining on it, it's at least 20 degrees warmer. But just uh, filled in the side. And put some on the top so it's, it's sloped right here which is fine working for that geothermal mass heat there and i also need to work out this end last year i just put one plastic piece all over the whole end and this year i wanted an option to be able to open up in the springtime to air out faster like i said it gets pretty pretty hot in there if you can imagine on a spring day you know spring 50 degree day and it's 40 more degrees warmer in there you know 90 degrees cooking all your starts but just pretty much just scrape this top layer here with a flat shovel and this this has always kind of been a challenge because I wanted to incorporate a second greenhouse in here but I also want to incorporate a little fish pond eventually so I've kind of dug it out and I've kind of just always been uh, using it as a rain catch and I got strawberry wall holding it up all the way around compost right here but uh, it's always been hard right here, and last year, I like to blow really hard, so I have a really nice, uh, so I think it's a 3 by 8 it's, it's not going anywhere this year, it's stapled to it in, got it all buried. Uh, just harvested some huge parsnips out of here, about 18 inches long. I've got some more here. This bed's pretty much toast. I'm going to finish weeding this half. Let's just check out the rest of the garden, but it's, it's the greenhouse. Privacy screen. Still really green here. All these sunflowers I planted way late. I just I'm kind of sticking them in there. I'll end up yanking them out and throwing them in my huge compost heap. I'll show you in a second, but peppers are still going for it. Sorry, buddy. Tossing to the birds over there. But yeah, I'm still going with nasturtiums and uh, jalapenos and Swiss chard, bright lights. Showing really good. But lots and lots of uh, parsley. Thought it was carrot when I planted it. The bok choy, more parsley. All my berry plants did very well this year. Goju, berries, currants, blueberries. And then for the raspberries, I kind of just chopped them and dropped them here doing that permaculture with stuff. Beans, wherever I could grow trellis. Just have different types of beans everywhere. These are the, uh, the multicolored. Supposed to be scarlet runner beans, more of a native. They're big, you know. Good mass. I already got some, all my seeds saved. A lot of marigold planted and blooming still, attracting lots of bees I saw today. Over here I got uh, lots and lots of this uh, cilantro. It's so good. And I just took a, a bolt of cilantro at the end of summer and sprinkled it here and now here I go. I got my fall winter cilantro. Probably dig some of that up and put it in the greenhouse. But for the most part the greenhouse planted. Carrots, strawberries, kales. And this is spinach here that I kind of let go to seed. Peppers are still out everywhere. Not fruiting that well but they're flowering. 
Here's my huge compost heap. Grapes and kiwi on the fence. No plums yet this year on my two plum trees. Kale's been going great. It loves this type of weather. And I hear when you have a bug problem, leave it. Parasitic eaters will show up. Yeah, more bright lights, Thai hot peppers. I gotta finish harvesting the potatoes. And Jerusalem artichokes here. Oh my. So I got pineapple, didn't make it. This one, that's not rooted either. I got one in a container that's rooted. I've had it for two years. Kind of glad those two died. That way I don't have to root them or uh, repot them. Here's the switch chart I've been juicing every day. One more acorn. Trees to plant next year. Strawberries to plant elsewhere next year. These are all just runners. Just repot them. All just runners. Repot them. pretty windy last night and I didn't have any of the dirt I just was all I could do to get everything stapled last night before it was you know pitch black dark yeah see if I can get you a shot on the inside some green zoom in got my olive tree in there my peppers off to the left that's about it